IISD Reporting Services is here in Lima, Peru for the UN Climate Change Talks, covering selected side events. On Monday, December 8th, delegates discussed low carbon development in developing countries through the joint crediting mechanism. Japan really wants to contribute to global uh, greenhouse gas emission reductions. And the, that's a benefit of the uh, global. And at the same time, uh, if we can utilize the uh, Japanese uh, local technologies, it will benefit our uh, industries. Uh, well, this is uh, what we are doing for, um, um, under the guidance of the Ministry of the Environment in Japan uh, to, to uh, develop the, and expand the uh, uh, project pipeline. Through the Joint Crediting Mechanism, or JCM, Japan has teamed up with 12 developing country partners to share low carbon technologies and knowledge. So, uh, Indonesia actually uh, currently is the most progress host country for JCM. We have 12 projects and 8 are in energy efficiency and 4 are in renewable energy. We have signed a uh, JCM uh, with Japan in uh, April this year, uh, 2014, and uh, we have a number of uh, research study in Cambodia. Yeah, and we also have a number of capacity building uh, with IHS and also with uh, OECC. At the moment, we have selected uh, three projects and uh, tools in the energy saving and efficiencies for the uh, commercial building and uh, the public building. Now, we also have just two more projects in transport and in waste management and treatment. Our expectation to the JCM, we think that the JCM project's uh, implementation will be contributed to the low carbon and uh, sustainable development in Laos. Representatives shared their experiences with the JCM and how their countries have benefited from partnering with Japan. Well, JCM has helped uh, to spread low, low carbon development through private sectors, uh, to ease investments from private sectors uh, in general. So in that, in that case, we can spread uh, low carbon development through private sectors. This is one that's actually been implemented. Just 20 minutes before this presentation, I just got an update, and I'm happy to announce that the Surangalan Sun building has just undergone completion. And so on the next class, uh, side, you can see the completion of that solar panel system. And it's two uh, solar panel systems, 250 kilowatt for, uh, for one side and for the other 150 kilowatt. In the country, we are very like uh, harshly affected by climate change, especially the country really dependent on the nature. Uh, the climate change has been very significant uh, to our culture because we are uh, living nomadic her uh, lifestyle. So in the long term, GSM would be of course, the benefit to reduce uh, mitigate GHG emission. In the end, the JCM is contributing to new low carbon action across the globe. Uh, many other uh, projects uh, uh, expected to be registered in the near future. The JCM intends to uh, promote the real action, uh, not to talk. I mean. Watch out for more coverage of the side events here at COP20, brought to you by IISD Reporting Services.